friends, welcome back to my kitchen and welcome to The Recipe Therapist. So today, before we get started, I just wanted to give a big heartfelt thank you to all my new subscribers and followers this week. It really touched my heart to see so many of you comment during this past holiday and show me pictures of the things that you made. I really feel blessed to be able to do what I do here in my kitchen and I just want to thank you for joining me each week on this journey. Now, I have a really, really good recipe for you today. Another crowd pleaser. It's my seven layer taco dip trifle. It's so delicious, it's not that hard to make, and I'm excited to share it with you. So let's get started. Let me show you what I put into my taco trifle. We're gonna start out with one package of ground beef that I've sauteed up in this skillet with some onion, some salt, and pepper. Now, my secret ingredient is my chili lime powder. I got this at Trader Joe's. If you can't find it, you can just use regular taco seasoning. It will work just as well. We have our sour cream, our shredded cheddar cheese, and our packaged guacamole. Now, this is about two cups of guacamole in, in this uh, package here. I'm only gonna use one of these, which is one cup. And I'm going to take two avocados and mash them and mix it all together. I just find that the flavor is so much better and it's still a little more fresh tasting. Now, to preserve the guacamole, I am gonna be adding some lemon juice just so it doesn't, you know, oxidize. Now, over here, I have my two cans of refried beans with one package of taco seasoning and block cream cheese. I made my tomato salsa yesterday which is about, uh, probably about two cups. And I've drained most of the juice out because we don't want it to spoil the look of our trifle. Now, my secret ingredient in my tomato salsa is I add about a teaspoon or, or so of pepper jelly. It's a sweet jelly with that hint of like jalapeno spice in it. I got this at Trader Joe's. You can find this like anywhere. A lot of local girls just carry it today. But it is an option, but it really, really elevates the flavor of the salsa. Now, for the top of our trifle, we're going to be using some sliced black olives, some more cheese and salsa, tomato salsa, some lettuce, and some cilantro. Now, for the, for the extra special crunch for the top, I'm gonna to be using either Doritos you can buy, or I just picked up from Trader Joe's some nacho cheese tortilla chips. All right, so let's start out with the guacamole part of this uh, recipe. So what I've done is I've taken the two avocados and I've mashed them up into this bowl. What I'm gonna do at this point is just add a pinch of salt, just for a little extra flavor, okay? And I also like a little garlic powder, so I'm just going to add a little right on the top, okay? And mix that in, get all that flavor in there. And like I said before, I'm gonna add like, I don't know, a little, like half a teaspoon of lemon juice just to preserve this fresh guacamole because it does, you know, turn by the time we're gonna eat it tonight. I, I want it to stay fresh. And now I'm gonna take one package of my pre-made uh, guacamole and I'm just gonna get it all out and I'm gonna put it all in here and we're gonna mix the two together. And there's enough you know, vinegar and lemon and spice in here to make it, you know, to keep it preserved for the next you know, two hours. And I'm gonna mix this all together and you're gonna see it's gonna to come together really creamy and nice. And that's our guacamole mix. So now let me show you how we do the refried bean part of the recipe. So what I've done is I've taken the two cans of uh, refried beans and I place them into this bowl. What I've done is I've taken the block cream cheese and I put it in the microwave for about, depending on how hot your microwave is, it could be between 20 to 40 seconds to get it to be soft so we're not wrestling with it. So I'm going to add my softened cream cheese to this and then I'm going to add my whole package of taco seasoning, okay? I'm going to begin to mix this all together and it's gonna be this creamy, you know, spicy refried bean mix that's gonna be so delicious at the base of our trifle. 
So this is what our bean mixture looks like. It's perfect, it's creamy. I just took a taste of it. It's absolutely delicious. It's gonna be perfect for our trifle. So I'm gonna put that to the side, and now I wanna show you what I do to my homemade salsa. Now, if I forgot to mention before, you can use regular jarred salsa. Just make sure you drain it. I like to make homemade, but you don't have to do that. So now I'm gonna add my secret ingredient, which is the pepper jelly. I got my spoon ready. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon like that. And it's just going to give that extra sweetness, like I said, and spiciness to my salsa. And it's just gonna be so delicious in this trifle. And that's it. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna get ready to put our trifle together. So this is the fun part, folks. Now we're ready to assemble our trifle. So this is everything in order, how we're going to line up our trifle. So we have our refried beans first. We're gonna do our sour cream, our guacamole, our ground beef, our salsa, and top it off with our cheese. So I'm gonna start off with the refried beans. So I'm going to just take the refried beans and I'm going to put it on the bottom part of my trifle. Now, I wanna be careful placing this in. I don't wanna mess up the sides because as I begin to build this, you're gonna see, uh, I'm not only making this, you know, for everyone to eat, but you know, I want it to look good. So I'm going to get it all out of my bowl, just like this. And I don't want to, again, mess up the sides of the trifle bowl. So I'm going to spread it down as much as I can, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the sour cream. So you can see how nice the side looks, um, how I didn't mess up the rest of the bowl. So now we're gonna add our sour cream and we're gonna do the same thing like we did with the refried beans. I'm just gonna plop it in on the center. Cameraman's gonna get in and show you that, okay? And then I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to spread it all along the edges, make sure it touches the edges because we want that white to shine through or show through, I should say. And it's gonna be a great look again. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our guacamole the same way. Okay, so now we're ready for the guacamole and you can see how the sour cream looks on the edge of the bowl. And now we're just gonna do our guacamole going right in. And you can see how it's already starting to take nice shape and, and color okay and this is just so creamy and like i said i put that uh, lemon juice in there to preserve it so it's going to be really really stained green and i'm just going to spread it along the sides and we're going to come back i'm going to put our ground beef on top so look at this trifle you see how beautiful the colors are coming together and how nice and you know neat it is on the sides so we're doing a great job. Let's keep it going. So we're just going to add our ground beef going right in. I heated it up. Okay, and I'm going to put the whole thing in. And again, spread it. And we're almost done. I can't wait to show you how I'm going to do the top of it. It's going to look beautiful. All right, so now we're ready for our salsa. Pour that right on top. The whole thing. And that's why I put it in this order because whatever leftover juice is running in from the salsa, it goes right into that meat. So it gives that meat, that flavor. And now it's really looking colorful. Look at that, it's so beautiful. You wanna get the top of that? See that? And the sides, look at that. It's really coming together nice. And I'm gonna add my cheese, okay? And this is my last layer before we're going to decorate the top. We're gonna to come back and I'm gonna dome up the top and it's gonna to be so beautiful looking. Okay, so we've completed all the layers of our trifle and now we're ready to do the top. We're gonna to dome it up really nice. So I'm gonna start out with my chopped lettuce, which is gonna give that you know fresh look to the, uh, this taco trifle. All right, I'm just gonna, and it's also gonna help me dome it up, you know? It's gonna give me that nice high layer. I just love this part. And I got my chopped like Doritos or tortilla chips, whatever chip you prefer. Okay. Now I do want some of the lettuce to show through. So, you know, when I'm placing these in, I'll just put them like more like around the outside. 
Maybe some in the center. Yeah, you play with it. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some more cheese on top of that. More towards the center though. Okay, some more tomatoes on top, which that you can spread all around. I mean, look at that. Does that look beautiful? It's really coming together nice. I just love this. And then of course we have our black olives for that nice color to go along with all the other colors we have going on here. Oh my gosh, I love this. And now you can use chopped scallions as a garnish, but I like cilantro. I happen to like the flavor and I like the look of it. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some cilantro on top. And that's it. Maybe a little bit more cheese right here, just to top it off. And that's it. I mean, look at this. Now, I do have a couple more chips. I might wanna just stick a few out, you know, but basically, this is how we do the top. And look at our taco trifle. It looks so beautiful. So here it is, guys. It's all done and complete. Look at it, isn't it beautiful? It's ready for your next like gathering. Now I made this tonight because it happens to be my husband's birthday. So I'm not gonna really dig into this and you know, mess it all up. But I did take a little taste from the back. I got some guacamole, some ground beef, some of the salsa on a chip. So I'm just gonna sneak in a little taste. Mm. I am so, mm. I am so happy to serve this tonight. I can taste the sweetness from the tomato that I put in there with that little spice and the, the ground beef with the chili lime flavor and the sour cream, guacamole. It's so delicious. I know you're all gonna love this one for your next uh, gathering. Um, like I said, Cinco de Mayo or Memorial Day weekend. It's a real crowd pleaser. For the full recipe, I'm gonna leave it in the description box and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications and we will see you next time. Take care.